This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. I am Mary Brave Bird. After I had my baby during the siege of Wounded Knee, they gave me a special name. Ohitika Win, Brave Woman, and fastened an eagle plume in my hair, singing Braveheart songs for me. I am a woman of the Red Nation, a Sioux woman. That is not easy. I had my first baby during a firefight, with the bullets crashing through one wall and coming out through the other. When my newborn son was only a day old, and the marshals really opened up upon us, I wrapped him up in a blanket and ran for it. We had to hit the dirt a couple of times, I shielding the baby with my body, praying, It's all right if I die, but please let him live. When I came out of Wounded Knee, I was not even healed up, but they put me in jail at Pine Ridge and took my baby away. I could not nurse. My breasts swelled up and grew hard as rocks, hurting badly. In 1975, the feds put the muzzles of their M-16s against my head, threatening to blow me away. It's hard being an Indian woman. My best friend was Annie May Aquash, a young, strong-hearted woman from the Micmac tribe with beautiful children. It is not always wise for an Indian woman to come on too strong. Annie May was found dead in the snow at the bottom of a ravine on the Pine Ridge Reservation. The police said that she had died of exposure, but there was a thirty-eight caliber slug in her head. The FBI cut off her hands and sent them to Washington for fingerprint identification, hands that had helped my baby come into the world. My sister-in-law, Delphine, a good woman who had lived a hard life, was also found dead in the snow, the tears frozen on her face. A drunken man had beaten her, breaking one of her arms and legs, leaving her helpless in a blizzard to die. My sister Barbara went to the government hospital in Rosebud to have her baby, and when she came out of anesthesia, found that she had been sterilized against her will. The baby lived only for two hours, and she had wanted so much to have children. No, it isn't easy. When I was a small girl at the St. Francis boarding school, the Catholic sisters would take a buggy whip to us for what they called disobedience. At age ten, I could drink and hold a pint of whiskey. At age twelve, the nuns beat me for being too free with my body. All I had been doing was holding hands with a boy. At age fifteen, I was raped. If you plan to be born, make sure you are born white and male.